Here's the bull ring, which you can go and visit. So I'll just have a look in. So this is the view from the uh, top of the Gold Tower. You can see there the cathedral. In Seville. See. And we'll just pan around, you can see the river. It's now quarter past ten in the morning. Everything is just beginning to wake up. They wake up late in Spain. And that's the view looking up or well, down the river, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> and over there you can, you can see the two towers of the uh, Plaza de Espanol. Inside the gold tower there's a sort of gallery with naval bits in. Got Magellan and one or two others. And this is a superb model of a Spanish man of war. This huge number of cannon and mortars. In its day, it must have been a formidable fighting machine. You can see there, sort of cannon or mortars on the deck. Incredibly complicated things they were. A massive ropes on there. And a little platform at the front. This is one of the bridges in Seville, crossing this, which is marked on the map as Canal Alfonso the Twelfth. Whether there are any fish in here, I don't know, but I would think if there are, there'll be big fish. I haven't seen any fish rising at all. This guy is uh, fishing, I think he's got just caught an eel. And she is killed, he's going to put it in that bag. <laughs> Take it home. I think all of these things, difficult to get the hook out. i no, just cut it out, mate. It's exactly the same as in England, but here they all use these collapsible rods, telescopics. And you just clamp them onto your bike and away you go. Um, but he's telling me there are some big fish in here. I mean, uh, I don't understand his Spanish, but <laughs> you, can, you can mime these things. But he was, I would think he's looking at sort of the size of fish. You're looking at five, six pounds fish. But what they are, I have no idea. I mean, it looks very catfishy to me. This water. But, uh, you can't tell. He just uses a little bit of bread paste and then uses his bike as a as a tripod. And then he has some sort of sweet corn ground bait which he throws in.
spent the last two hours in Seville and uh, I've decided to come on a boat trip after thrashing around for a couple of days just to relax. It's, it runs for about an hour and starts at the Gold Tower. Then you go up the stream a little bit and then you go down the stream a little bit, turn around and come back. Rowing seems to be very popular. There are lots of, uh, lots of boats on the river. All these overhanging bushes look <laughs> superb for cover for fish. I've just seen a dead fish in the water. It looked like a rod. That step there, that north pass, there are some terrapins. Sunbathing. Big ship here. looks like a private yacht from Malta, registered in Valletta. Hey, what money can bring you? You think you're not going to get under this? <laughs> really close. There are lots of big restaurants along this left bank. And this huge, rather ugly looking tower right in the middle of everything. A lovely facade in the early morning sunshine on the riverside. Also known as the Bridge of Isabel II. It was built in 1852 and designed by a disciple of the French architect Gustave Eiffel. It is similar to the Carousel Bridge in Paris. Devant le pont de Trier, où Isabelle II, c'est le plus ancien de ces lieux. Il fut construit en 1852. Sous le dessin d'un nègre de l'architecte français Gustave Eiffel, il ressemble beaucoup au pont Carousel de Paris. This bridge is the Punta Triana and it was uh, designed by Eiffel. It was designed by the Eiffel Tower and the uh, Via Ducte Gabi, whatever it is, in uh, central, central France. Another guy there. I'm your glory. All the way along the river, there are fishing platforms. Like that one there. And another one. All the way down. There's a couple of guys fishing there. No, noisy friends, uh, children. Yeah, you could sit on there for many a happy hour. Right, you hit. 
In the middle of the afternoon, it's incredibly hot. <laughs> and you probably need a big umbrella to sit under. I'll make a safety boat with them. These are all the buildings from Expo 92, which are just sitting there doing nothing, gradually falling into disrepair. And you can see the uh, top of the uh, Ariane, uh, I think it was Ariane rocket, one of the very first European space ventures. Pavilion gradually falling into disrepair. So we come all the way down to these bridges here, where I suspect we turn around and go back.